Hi there, welcome, my name is Felix. Welcome back to How To Creative. Um, in this video, I'm really excited for this video because this is actually uh, the day that I received two amazing 4K monitors. Shh. I need one of these and I actually bought the AOC but it wasn't there anymore so I had to pick up the other LG one and now they both came which wasn't really the plan but if you're considering buying one of these two monitors they're both amazing options for videographers or content creators in general. Uh, both are 4K 27 inch and 10 bit colors and more specs that we'll go through later but still the AOC is a little cheaper and I like the design a little more so we're gonna do a review about this and I hope you enjoy it so let's go to the uh, to the unboxing there we go man I'm excited I always keep my boxes because if I am selling something secondhand, it's actually worth more if you keep it in the box, in the original box. So that might be uh, of interest to you. On the side, here we go. So we have an HDMI cable, um, something else, I have no idea what it is. I will definitely let you know what this is, but I have to look it up. Uh, this is actually a power cable, we have some DVIs right here and the uh, display port and then some jack for the audio and installation CD so there's a lot in there uh, handy stuff you don't have to buy your cables okay so then we have the base plate it's quite heavy I didn't expect it to be that heavy this looks nice but let's just keep that in I'm sorry if you're interested in that you should probably watch another video okay so here we have the screen oh that smells even so good always Oh, it's bigger than I expected. So like 27 inch, how big is that? Well, pretty big if you don't have a screen that size already. So my first impressions really, the buttons look really cheap. The back looks really nice. Oh, this is actually plastic. Okay, so this is the screen on the back here. Nice and clean, nice finish. Let's attach it to the arm and see uh, and see how it looks on there. Oh. There are a lot of different uh, arms available on the market, so I hope I got the right one with the right measurements. Oh, it's super small actually. <laughs> there we go. Open it up. All right, nothing special, manual here. Let's see if the quality is any good. Well, this feels heavy, sturdy. Wow. A small plate. Some extra weights. That's nice. This is where the screen is going on. So you got some cable management right here. Ouch. And the last piece. Okay, so let's uh, attach it to my desk. That will be a challenge. So bear with me. Oh, the cable. <sighs> So yeah, the desk is too big. I have to find another solution. Wait, let me get my measurement tape. That's eight centimeters. Six. Maybe if I turn this around, maybe then it could work. Let's try that. So that's not working. Oh! Oh! Yes! 
All right. Okay, so if we place it like that. Yep, that works. All right, moving on. Let's attach to the arm. Let's see if the arm fits. I hope so, otherwise I'm screwed. Okay, awesome. Get the screws. This must do the job. I think I need to tighten these screws still because it feels a little loose. So it seems to be a little heavy. So let's tighten those up. That's better. So I attached it a little higher, as you can see. I hope it is long enough. So plug that in, HDMI. It's a small cable. All right. Yeah, okay, so that's long enough. Time to remove some stickers. So, the screen is done, let's take a look. On this side we have a USB hub with two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0. The yellow one is a quick charging USB 3.0 to charge your phone, for example. The weird looking one on the bottom is a USB A. That was the cable I didn't know what it was before, but I looked it up. This one connects to your computer. Next, on the bottom side we have two 3.5mm mini jacks. The black one is an audio out to use with headphones for example. The green one is an audio input to transfer audio from your laptop to use the screen for sound. Also, if you're using an HDMI or display port to connect your device, you won't need to connect the audio separately because the audio will be integrated within the cable. Nice, huh? Then we have several video inputs like a VGA, a display port, HDMI and DVI-D. There we are. Wow. That is absolutely stunning. So furthermore, we have a simple menu. It's a little slow in my opinion, but the navigation is very clear. You can switch between devices with a single button, and I love that I can move the screen to any position I like. This gives me a lot of flexibility. As you can see, the screen is eye stunning sharp, and the colors really pop. It has a great viewing angle as well. Here I'm showing you the flexibility of the screen. You can rotate it vertically if you're working on a website, for example, or use it horizontally if you're watching videos. Go wild, you can use it in any position you want. I have been really enjoying the screen so far. I've been playing some games on it as well, hooking it on my Nintendo Switch, and this works great as well. So, the AOC screen, I've been playing with it for a day now. Um, I actually had to order another cable because it wasn't showing 4K at 60 Hz at first, so, but now with the mini uh, display port to display port, it actually is. And for you folks that need some more specifications, here is a list of all these specifications. All right, so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, this was How to Creative, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.